Dominic Raab's resignation centers on allegations of bullying made by several civil servants who had worked under him. These were the subject of an inquiry conducted by Adam Tolley KC. According to a resignation letter from Mr Raab to the Prime Minister, the report arising from the inquiry dismissed all but two claims of bullying. The former Foreign Secretary believes these findings are flawed and set a dangerous precedent for the conduct of good government. Ministers, he says, must be able to exercise direct oversight with respect to senior officials over critical negotiations conducted on behalf of the British people. Otherwise, he adds, the democratic and constitutional principle of ministerial responsibility will be lost. In his letter, he says this was particularly true during his time as Foreign Secretary, when a senior diplomat breached the mandate agreed by the Cabinet. This refers to his behaviour during the Brexit negotiations ahead of the New Year's Eve agreement three years ago and changes to the personnel after that. Mr Raab believes the senior negotiator had put UK sovereignty at risk and had put the agreement at risk too, with Gibraltar perilously close to a no deal. He adds the changes did not involve demotion or long-term detriment. The inquiry report concludes the Deputy Prime Minister made a legitimate management choice on the basis of his genuine adverse view about the work of others, albeit without any grounds for disciplinary action. It says Mr Rabb's conduct was on occasions abrasive as a personal style, which feels insulting and intimidating, but was not intended to be so and therefore not specifically targeted. Mr Rabb has expressed regret about the impact on others, but not apologised, believing he did nothing wrong. If he wasn't aware of the effect his behaviour was having on others, he should have been. That is basically the conclusion of the report on this particular complaint. The Deputy Prime Minister genuinely believed the senior diplomat had done something wrong. Ministers getting upset with their advisers is nothing new. This report focuses on Dominic Grubb. But it would be interesting to know what it was that breached the Cabinet's mandate. This information is considered too sensitive to be included in the report.